Yo, what's up guys? So, I was scrolling through YouTube comments the other day and there was one comment that caught my eye and it said, uh, could you do a tutorial on Heiko's tunnels? So, I figured why not give it a shot? I have so much respect for Heiko, I love his work, so like, why not try it? If you have any other editors that you would like to see me replicate their effects or something, drop their name in the comments or the effect that you want me to try and recreate. I can't promise I'll get to all of them, but I'll definitely try and make a tutorial if I can. Basically, this series is me breaking down and recreating styles from different editors and showing you how to do it. So let's call this video a Yuta series because I'll be copying multiple editors and you know, Yuta's ability is basically just copy and paste so i guess this is the first part of the series so let's get right into it okay so i think i will do this tunnel first because i think i know how to do this i'm not really sure but i think i know so i will create a new composition i will add a shape layer i will draw a some kind of block maybe something like this i will center it um, yours probably doesn't look my, like mine, but don't worry. I'll center my anchor point, you don't really have to do that. And now press on the fill letters and select this one, uh, which is none, and press OK. And on the stroke you have to press it and like select the color that you want, uh, do a white one, but it doesn't really matter. And uh, for your number just write it 10, so it's like 10 thickness, you know. So now we will do the effects. So I think the first one he used is texture plasma. I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, there it is. And I will change the color to green because I think that's what he did. Okay, so now we will press this to close this up and now we will add brightness and contrast. So like put this at 60 maybe. Yeah, it's a little more bright. And now we will add glow. Bam. And now we will put this at 62, I think. Now we will add hue and saturation if you want to change the color of your tunnel. So like, I will keep it as green because I think Heiko did it. Something like that, I don't know, maybe. And now as the final effect, I will add turbulent displays. Okay, so I've played with the settings. I think this is the closest that I can get to Heiko. So like, feel free to copy my settings. Um, now that I've pre-composed this, I will now duplicate this and add turbulent displace again. I think that's what he did. I will now increase the complexity a little bit, um, increase the amount and decrease the size. Maybe something like this. Oh yeah. Now I will keyframe the offset and like go to the very end and like pull this up a little bit. So like maybe something like this. Oh nice. Now we have something like this. So now I will pre-compose this. Okay, so I think we can begin with the tunnel now, so I will uh, trim the work area a little bit, so it's like not that confusing. I will duplicate it three times, so I will enable 3D and motion blur on all of these. I will put this at minus 500. Yeah, so it's like in the front and this one 500. So yeah, something like that. Um, I think that's what he did, right? Maybe, I'm not sure. I think that's... I think that's the best that I can do, I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, then I'll add a camera, like this. Okay, so now we have to add a null object, enable 3D, and now pair the camera with the null, so, and then put it above. It doesn't really matter where you put it, but I'll put it above so it's like easier. I will go back a little bit, so like this, and then maybe go like right there. Yeah, something like that. And I'll put this at the very end of my tunnel, so like, we have now this. But of course we have to graph it, and he has like, a image right there, so like, I guess I will do a, something like that too. I have the screenshot of Flowers Edit because I tried to recreate the scene. So like, I will add 3D and motion blur. So I will put this at, with this 500, I will put it at 1000. So yeah, something like that. And now I will add a layer styles stroke and I'll change this to green and 10. So yeah, now we have this a little stroke on his, uh, on this image border. So like, it's pretty cool. And I will maybe scale this down a little bit. So now we have this, a little tunnel, you know, but now we have to graph it. So I think what he did is like, 
Okay, so I see. I think he did it something like this, maybe. Yeah, you see? You see? Maybe it's something like this more. Like a little fast on the front, you know? So, like, maybe it's something like this, you know? So, yeah, now that we have this, I think this is pretty close to Heiko. Of course, he did that part with the saber that I'm not gonna show in this video. Uh, it's like a mask and a saber effect on it. Uh, the saber plugin is free, so like you can check out a bunch of tutorials. Search up saber plugin uh, mask tutorials or, or something and something will pop up. So yeah, now that we have this, I will try and recreate. Yeah, this tunnel, it's not really hard. You just go inside and delete the aura and play with the settings again. So like um, maybe we will bring up the size and decrease the amount so like maybe something like this like a little more cubish you know so yeah now we will have this and if you do it if you do a little more of these rectangles not only three so then you will have a better look overall but yeah i think this is something that he did so it's not really hard if you know how to use camera and uh, how to use like shape tool and something like that. I think before doing tunnels, you should really know how the camera works and something like that. I'm not I'm not saying that I'm the best guy at cameras and, and camera movement, but you should know the basics of the camera and how it works. So like it's easier for you to understand what you're doing. OK, so I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope I didn't yap too much. So yeah, I appreciate every single one of you. I read everyone's comments. So like feel free to comment. Thank you so much and uh, peace out.